Greetings everybody, this is Leviathan here, and today I'm going over uh, the challenge rift that is active right now this week. We're recording this on Monday night here on the East Coast. Uh, what you need to recall and keep in mind, please, please remember, if you want a great start to your Season 17, do not complete this week's challenge rift until you've created your seasonal character on Friday. The reason that we do this is because you can uh, complete your challenge rift, get the challenge rift cash reward, and then open that on a new uh, character for the season, and you'll get a ton of rewards. They've actually even boosted the challenge rift cash to give you more death's breaths this time. So people are thinking, you know, one of the best things you'll be able to do, level up your uh, Hadrig um, blacksmith all the way to the top, and then you can craft a level 70 weapon. You know, specific classes have those class weapons like hand crossbow or scythe for necromancers, etc. Or even some other piece of, of gear. And you can actually get a really good weapon early on, cube the power from it, so go and get your Kanai's cube, and then you can have that power while you're leveling. Example for Demon Hunters, I would do the dagger. Uh, you either get a Carlay's Point or a Lord Greenstone's Fan, which is the most ideal. And then once a Fan of Knives unlocks, your leveling will be so easy because you'll just one-shot everything when you hit Fan of Knives. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. This, this video in particular will go over how to do this week's Challenge Rift. It's not bad at all. I just want to show you the route that I'm going to use and everything to look out for. So in case you're not familiar with Demon Hunter, maybe this will help you out. <clears throat> but in the video description, if you want some tips and tricks just for leveling from 1 to 70 during the opening night of Season 17, I created a guide a few seasons back and it's still all relevant in terms of some of the tips and things that are useful for helping you cut down on your time to get to 70. Because everybody wants to get to 70 as quick as possible so you can get to the good stuff. But in any case, we have a Lon Demon Hunter here for the build. That's uh, the Challenge Rift build. Seems a little wacky, I know, but it's actually not bad. It pretty much just plays itself. It's kind of a speed build, which is nice. You have the two Lon Rings and a couple of ancient pieces of gear. And you have the Strafe Weapons. Uh, and then you have Hexing Pants. Um, and you have Visage of Goons. These are the things to keep in mind the most. You also have a Wreath of Lightning. A, a Boon of the Hoarder for some reason and a gem of efficacious toxin. All of this just leads you to note that you should use strafe, which is the skill here. If you just hold that down and run through the rift, you should complete this. There will be a few times where it's a little sketchy in terms of the defense of the character, but even that's not that bad. I would say if you're having trouble uh, keeping hatred up, do recall that the bat companion, when you activate it, can give you some hatred back. You also have a generator in this build, evasive fire parting gift, and we have a passive that gives us more hatred when we use our generator. So if at any point you find you're running low on hatred, just fire off a few evasive fires, you'll get right back up. Uh, I like to save vengeance for when we come to elites, because it gives you a little bit of extra power. We also get some extra defense from Visage of Gune, since we get the Dark Heart Room. You also get Seethe, which is going to give you some hatred, so you can continue to spin to win. Uh, you can also throw out Reign of Vengeance when you're against elites, just for some extra DPS, but really, the Vengeance, or the uh, Strafe, is just going to do it for you. You have um, Tactical Advantage in the build, so if you hit a couple of Vaults during Dead Spots, which there aren't too many, you can use that to kind of speed your way through the Rift, but you also have things like Orzekian Arm Guards, uh, Crumb's Buff Belt, and whenever the Wreath of Lightning goes off, so you get some nice speed in this build. It'll help you get through really quickly. And that's pretty much all there is to note. Also, when you pick up uh, Health Globes, you'll get some Hatred back and Discipline from Blood Vengeance. And then Hot Pursuit is just giving us some extra movement speed as well. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and run this. Um, another key that can help you is the Mad Monarch Scepter. You know, this is like the most random Act 1 legendary uh, from Bounties. But when this goes off, it actually kills a decent amount of the trash. So you kind of want to always be surrounded by a decent amount of trash. When this goes off, it should wipe the screen and you can move on. So let's go ahead and run this for you guys. There's a couple of uh, pylons to be wary of. And they'll help you out quite a bit, as you can see here. So I just come in, find this yellow, activate Vengeance. Go ahead and get this guy down. And I'm pretty much just going to hold down the uh, strafe button the whole time. You can see you just go through. There it is, a proc on the Mad Monarch Scepter. I come this way, there's another blue pack, another elite right here. And it's really just strafe to win. 
anytime you find that you're uh, in danger, you can just make sure you stay out of uh, out of the way of any stuff that's on the ground, like frozen and whatnot. You have a lot of mobility in the build, so you know, just keep that in mind. I would just you know do a couple of circles whenever there is a decent amount of trash. You have a nice shield pile on here, which is great in case you do feel like your uh, safety's in danger. Don't want to die. There's a blue pack in here, so make sure you do poke into this room just to get this blue. Got him. This floor you pretty much just, it auto plays itself. You just keep going forward. Try to get as much trash as you can. This, to be honest, even though this build's kind of weird or janky, it's not a bad build to start out this season because it's quick. <laughs> It means the challengers will be over very quickly and you'll be able to go and claim your rewards and uh, get on your way. Let's always come in this room real quick, clear that out. Let's try and get my hatred up a little bit. Speed through there because there's nothing else really on this floor. And then this floor will be where you end the challenge rift. There is a blue pack right here, some bats. And they do have uh, Frozen on them, so you might want to just fight them outside of that little area. You can just come this way. And have them come over to meet you. Up here there will be a channeling pylon, which is nice. That means you'll have 100% uptime on your Vengeance, so you can just make sure to always hit that. You'll also get uptime on um, your Reign of Vengeance too, so you can keep throwing that out. As you can see, we're well ahead of the timer, right? So there is no need to fear here. Just hold down straight and keep going. There's another blue pack that's over this way, so I would come over here. Just all the way to the right. Get these guys killed off. Come back this way. Another blue. And there is a conduit right here, which is nice for some ancillary damage. Help you kill stuff off. And get those guys. In these rooms, you know, just go to the corners, clean them up a little bit. Some nice, uh, Oh shit! I mean, shoot! <laughs> I didn't realize I uh, got to 99% very quickly, and I wanted to make sure that I got out of there before I killed off the boss. You can see that it was Blood Maw. I don't want to kill him so that I still have my ability to get the Challenge Rift Cash on Friday. Wow, I caught me by surprise! Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. You can see it ramps up very quickly once you get moving. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys not too much to note here again do be sure to save the challenge rift you can go in test it out do a run or two like i have done uh but do not kill blood maw just wait until friday after you've created your seasonal character so create that character then go do your challenge rift then go in claim the rewards and benefit you can also of course gamble the blood shards that come out of it to get a nice couple of items to start you out um, when you outlevel those or when they're not as useful, you can also cube those as well. So cube the powers. So there's a lot of different strategies you can do. Again, check the video description for some leveling tips and tricks and a different uh, separate guide. And hop into the comments. Let me know what you plan to do for the season. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, if you have any other questions, I will be happy to answer them. And until next time, I will see you guys on Friday. I'm really excited. I'm going to be going super ham doing solo self-found league. Hardcore Demon Hunter. Make sure you check out the stream, twitch.tv slash leviathan111. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Adios for now.